on Viro. On uh, yeah, Fire Blaster he was facing the wrong way to get the do the ledge down B. See, they they keep uh, falling for that trick. Uh, Fire oh, look at that! Fire Blaster is staring at oh. staring at Ness, and Mario comes up, takes oh, nice him out. Ledge cancel. Fire Blaster lost a lot of stocks pretty quickly. Oh, great ledge hog from Shalaka, but he couldn't finish that stock. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Fire the worst Master. possible scenario there. He he waits forever to respawn and then shows up and kills his teammate. That's just mean. That was, like, that was pretty bad. Was, oh, good parry. Fire Blaster punishes. All right, he's got them, got them both off stage. Ah, nice spike combo. Oh, nice up smash from Shalaka. He gets the kill. Just go out there. It's the last stock. All right. All right. It. So, Shalaka, Fire Blaster. Taking Coming out one. strong game one, despite some extremely costly SDs and uh, team kills. Yeah. I, they had no business, like... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you take those away, and that, that wasn't even close then. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bar Fire Blaster punishes, for real. Like. All right, let's see if Nintendo Fire can make any adjustments. Uh... Oh, Shalaka goes in there and disrupts. It looked like Fire Blaster had some good going. Uh, the issue with uh, with Yoshi is Pyro can't do his, his normal little grab things. He like always grabs people on get ups and everything. Right. And Fire Blaster's been parrying them. Nice back air. He gets a poke. Oh, I don't smash Fire Blaster. Fire Blaster just does not like Shalaka. He almost hit him with that. He almost hit Pyro with that egg though. And uh, flat trap. Yeah. Oh, fire just runs in there and uh, knocks out Nintendo. Fire, fire is pretty hurt though. Let's see if they can uh, get a hit on him. Walker going over to help his teammate is smart. It's not actually helping his teammate yet. <laughs> his presence. He's there. Yeah, his presence helps a little bit. But... Uh, they both. Fire gets back on stage. Oh, oh the no! Up smash. Nintendo is very good with the up smashes. Oh, that heals so much. Fyra went from like 130 to like 77. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it, it heals double. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it was like 12 or more. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, you don't think that on a tiny stand like stage like Dreamland you'd be able to get time to heal, but they just they do it. Oh, nice down B from Firebox and that kills too. So dangerous. Shalaka, you got a double jump to down B. Infinite vertical hitbox. <laughs> Fire Blast just try to get back. Uh, Fire and Nintendo have a much stronger start this game. Uh, they're still not up by much. Very close. Well, that Nair is going to do it, yeah. They got three whole stocks. Fire Blaster close to dead too. That, I think that does it. I don't think we can make it back from that. No. Now they're now they're building up a pretty solid lead. They got Sherlock off stage. Fire Blaster scares him away from his teammate. Yeah, wow. Nintendo and Fire is just nuts this game. This happens, man. I was gonna say yes. Be two players that could uh, a team that could make a serious adjustment. You know, they, I think they're both very uh, a very cerebral team. A lot of mind games, a lot of baiting, very good at adjusting. Oh, smash! I don't know if that up smash would have killed, but it would have been better than missing the grab. Oh, nice shield drop back there from Oh, he doesn't get the back air on Nintendo. Oh, jeez, Fire Blaster getting a little hungry. I mean, you have to when you're down this much, you gotta go yeah. for like everything. So, yeah, this, All right, Fire uh, Blaster set up that kill for Ness. Yeah. Oh, Pyro. Six stocks. Pyro uh, only lost one stock. High percentage on both of the stocks, though. That was, that was a huge adjustment. Uh, he did a very good job of uh, protecting himself. Nintendo was protecting him. And the healing definitely helped, too. No, no character changes here. Game three. Oh, Fire, uh, Shalaka starts off by missing a, a Z cancel. <laughs> the down air, the horrendous thud. Oh, Shalaka's got Fire off stage. Oh, great protection from Nintendo. 
Pyro grab on Fire Blaster. Fire Blaster, very oh, dangerous. He gets grabbed out of his double jump. He, he lofted out that nair like that. He could have uh, gotten punished, but he did back. And no need to edge guard Pyro. Just couldn't make it. Shalaka is panic up B. Oh, panic up B is from Shalaka. Oh, the yo yo. Wow, it does the job. Shalaka misses up tilt and gets a back throw. This is where he, he goes does out, go there. out there. Yeah. yeah. That's it. You can, you can go out there against an SM doubles, but you really have to wait against Pyro until he starts the FB. Otherwise, you're going to get down here. Oh, Shalaka needs to do something. Yo, Pyro's just doing that combo right in Shalaka's face. Yeah, yeah like Shalaka's it's like, watch me combo your teammate. So, after watching... Uh, oh, wow, Fire Blaster SD. Not good. After watching uh, Fire tank stocks that first game, he's already lost two. Could lose the third here. And Shalaka needs to pivot grab, yeah. See if he can get an edge guard. Back here. Wow, Fire Blaster, Fire going, out Blaster going, going out there. That's like as far as he could have gone. Yeah. He's still making it back. I did not think he was going to make it back. Oh, Fyro pushed Shalaka off the stage, so Shalaka was able to get the up B out. Got out of his shield. It's intense. Oh, Shalaka's dead. Pyro plat trapping his own teammate. Yeah, he broke up that combo. Oh, Shalaka just going at Nintendo with those back airs. Uh, Ford Tilt might have pushed Ness off the stage. Helped him get an S guard. I think that'll do it for Fire Blaster. Pyro trying to save Nintendo with the dash attack. Coming down to the wire, man. It's pretty pretty close to even. Fyro off the stage, but Nintendo, those clutch fireballs. Oh, and Shalaka just passes through that up B. He almost got hit by it. Oh, wow. Shalaka lands right on Nintendo's up smash. Does a good job from uh, Nintendo to position himself for, uh, for an on stage edge guard. That Nair from Fire Blaster, perfect spacing. And he gets the spike. But I think that'll do it for him, too. Can he make it back? And just get grabbed again. Oh, he gets the egg! Shalaka needs to capitalize on this. Oh, Fire might make it back. They knock him off stage. Oh, oh he gets the he leg. just gets it. Oh, man. Fyro took a long time to bust out of that egg. Yeah, Fire Blaster set. Throw. Oh, and Fire, Fire Blaster takes the stock so to the Can Fyro do the 2v1? Oh, my God. Again? <laughs> again? Yeah, hey, pound. Yeah, I know. If yeah. he did it against Boom and Tacos, uh -oh. he should be able to do it here. Great spacing. They're Ooh. they're they're respecting Fyro coming back on. Oh, the he accidentally just down smash. Oh, oh Fire my Blaster putting himself off stage. Oh, he gets the down air. Oh, Shalaka doesn't get the grab. Oh, oh that down tilt. They would this have to really it. mess up here. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, he gets the back air. So Fyro can absolutely come back from this. All it takes is one more miss edge guard. He can still reach the ledge. They should be ledge hogging. Fire Blaster. Yeah, that. that'll do it. Wow. And Shalaka Shalaka Fire, Blaster. Fire Blaster. They're up 2-1. Oh, it's best of five. Best I, of five. I thought that was game three hype. It was game three hype. Oh this is not god. the last one. Oh my god. Four? Four? Four. Oh my god. Hopefully we get some game five hype. Oh, Fire Blaster starting strong. Oh, he's so good. And so instead of uh, continuing the DJC nares and risking pushing Fyro off the platform, he opted for uh, DJC down airs. Keep him in place. Uh, and the spike. Fire Blaster goes out there. Not a true combo, but he still gets the uh, the read. Shaka, still alive. Oh, Fyro's a little too high with that down air. He gets up tilted. <laughs> Great up smash from Nintendo, both of them. And it's gonna heal. And that's the whole and bar. Pyro of gets oh, a free stock. I guess they just felt like they couldn't do another one and just get it. Pyro gets a free stock and then runs off stage with it. Oh my god. 
I mean, Fyro's been spending a lot of uh, this set doing that, like shielding near the ledge, yeah. run off DJC back on. And he's so quick, he's so good with the, uh, the DJC down air to get back. Right, it's insane. Oh, I thought Fire Watch was going to get a reverse uh, fair there. Get the spike. Good back air from Shalaka. Uh, looked like Fire was very close to ledge canceling that. Fire Blaster takes the stock from Nintendo. Shalaka gets the back throw. Wow. No, Nintendo, I, he's already down two stocks. Yeah, but uh, both Fire Blaster and Shalaka are very hurt. Yeah. So they could actually take a stock lead here pretty quickly. Oh, and he gets into the egg again. Uh, Fyro, a much easier time getting out of the egg this time, but Fire Blaster was ready for him. Oh, oh, oh Nintendo Fyro. took his Nightwing. Fyro fast fall, missed the ledge grab. He was pretty much hopeless there. Why is it called PK Thunder instead of PK Lightning? I don't know, because it's thunderous. Oh, uh, Fire Blaster lofting out that Nair. Again, very dangerous, but keeps uh, Fire Row in place. Fire Blaster has had some really good spikes. Yeah, he's been spiking like a madman. Oh, he gets them both with the Nair. What get Fire Row, though. Recovery from Fire Row. Oh, that down Nair was questionable. Chalaka's knocked him out of it, though. Great save from Chalaka. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, terrible swing from uh, Fyro and Nintendo. Lost two stocks from a, a missed recovery. Very rare missed recovery from Fyro. <laughs> Got him both off stage. What a grab from Fire Blaster. No, and Snorlax would say fantastic R button from Fire Blaster. Oh, the Nairs. Is <laughs> what? So, a little right, more healing. Up. A little healing. A little healing going on. Oh! And Shalaka gets, gets them both off stage. Fire Buster going out there. Shalaka can just wait and up smash. Easy. Um, but Nintendo's put some pressure on Fire Blaster. Oh, wow! He can make it back there. Uh, that that could have been, that could have been uh, really good. Oh, Nintendo misses both up airs there. Great up. Fireball is able to follow up. Shalaka avoiding pressure. Fireball saves Nintendo. Oh, these guys Nintendo are doing a great job. Really missing grab. They're doing a great job of winning the 1v1. Uh, Fireblaster taking, uh, strapping down Nintendo and Shalaka kind of tossing Fire around. Oh, it was very close. All of them are ready to die. Oh, Fyro's the first to go. Oh, and Shalaka grabs the wrong guy, but smart to board throw to push them both off stage. Oh, Pyro. Pyro killing again killing his... Again. So yeah, great, crazy run from Shalaka and Fire Blaster after yeah. losing in pools. It's not over yet. Oh, but that's that's gonna be tough. Great edge guard from Shalaka wow, to take it. Fire Blaster. Taking Moving down on. the legends, Nintendo and Fyro.
Ooh, Stevie G and Lorenzo. Yeah, dude, this is gonna be good. Stevie G. What's Lorenzo's main? The homeboy from uh, GA. Did you say what's Lorenzo's name? Main. Oh, main, it's DK. Oh, he threw it out. Yeah. Are you sure that's not from the last match? The no, no. All right. Lorenzo definitely mains DK, and I believe Stevie G can win this to get out of pools. I think this is to get out of pools. I'm not too sure. Probably gonna have to jump off here at some point. All right, Lorenzo, really solid DK from Brazil. Stevie G, Fox Main from Pennsylvania, probably top seed in a PA. We'll see if he makes it out of pools this way. Lasers are gonna be really, really tough for Donkey Kong to try and get around. He's gotta move it quick. Um, and Donkey Kong is a huge, big body bag for Fox and Combo. So Stevie D just has to play carefully. Yep, there it is. Ooh, nice up B from Lorenzo to get out of that. Lorenzo's got good movement. Oh yeah, his tech skill is incredible. And that's an up B. Wow, nice kill. You don't see DK usually going that far edge guard. Yeah, when you go up high, I guess that's a little safer. Yeah. Wow, nice forward tilt from Stevie G. Another one. Started seeing this a lot at Apex, people using this to, uh, nice to edge guard. And yeah, another nice shine spike. We saw Stevie G do that a couple times against Boom. Stevie G used to be a melee player. He's got a lot of uh, good tech skill that uh, he transferred over from, uh, from that game to this one. Quickly became a really, really top player in our, in our state. Oh, wow, gets dumped nice though by Lorenzo. Nice forward air to read that. DK has a really, really long uh, tech tech roll, too. A lot of invincibility frames that can kind of catch people off guard. That's one of the things that he does have. These lasers are just applying a lot of pressure. And he's just, ooh, tries to call him with the up smash, but uh, it misses. Ooh, wow, nice donkey punch from Lorenzo. And the up B is going to finish that stock. Man, I'm impressed. Uh... Uh, do you know how many good uh, do you know how many good DK mains we have there? Um Lorenzo's probably the only true DK main, but I mean there's definitely a lot of people that play really, really good DKs. You just saw Boom and Bull play really, really pretty high level DK play. Do you think we're gonna have any boxes in the top eight this year? Oh boxes? Yeah. Oh, in top eight? Maybe none. LD is probably the best chance and is I, he here? Yeah, he's here. And I would uh I suspect he might get top 16 if he's lucky. No, just grab. It's EVG. Lorenzo. Ooh, wow, another he's upbeat kill. Yeah. Stevie G needs to collect himself. Stop getting those lasers and just DK's go for something. Platform. There you go. Platform and up is yeah. Just covers a lot of area. Yeah, His invincibility. The there you go, Stevie G. Start combo. When he's in shield like that, just go for grabs. This is a nice string of forward airs there. I think Steve D's starting to get the uh, formula down. Yeah, might be a little too late though. Yep, yep. down air's just going to finish it off. Renzo's three stocks, Stevie G. Stevie G, he does play uh, multiple characters. Yep, Pikachu. So. I think it's a much better matchup in his favor against DK. Uh, I don't know. I think Fox is pretty good too, but he just got. I think he just got overwhelmed there. Uh, Fox is a beat. Uh, Fox recoveries are kind of predictable, whereas Pikachu. True. And that's really easy for an up beat like Donkey Kong to have some huge hitbox. Yeah, and Lorenzo is going to have to use a lot of up beats himself to try and get out of the pressure that Pikachu yeah. can really create. Ooh, wow, almost gets stunk there. I don't know how Stevie G managed to sneak through that. Up air. Just gets grabbed right off the ledge there. That's a kill across the, the whole stage. He's 
gotta start putting the pressure on Lorenzo. Yeah. I think he's, yeah, if Lorenzo's tech skill, he just moves around so quickly with DK, it, it just, uh, it looks scary. But I mean, it's it's just DK. He's a big body bag. He, he's like the easiest character to combo in this game. He just keeps doing the same thing, getting up off the ledge. Ooh, wow. Gets dunked. You gotta try and recover farther away from than that. There we go. There you go, back air. There we go. Now an edge guard. Or not even needed. Lorenzo so still with getting, the getting there. stock lead. Yeah, Stevie G, you got it. Oh, still go either way. Yeah. Nice grab. Nice grab from Lorenzo. DBG's got to challenge Lorenzo in the air. Pikachu's aerials will beat out Donkey Kong's almost all day. He's got to use Pikachu's speed. Yeah. He's playing really cautious and not approaching. Yep. He's got to approach. Yep. Because he can't, I mean, just tilts like that. That. You can carry Donkey Kong for a long time on combos. He needed nice to. Up, get away. Yep. Oh, oh, wow. SD. That's pretty lucky for CBG. That might give him a little edge that he needs. If he can get some damage off of this stock. Yeah. Ooh, so he's a back more. air. Yeah, we're back throw. That'll kill. Renzo still with his lead. Nice up air, down air. I'm gonna start fast falling to get those neutral airs down. Nice. Ooh, nice tilt oh, though. And a uh, forward smash. smash yeah. That evens things up a little bit. He can just get some. If he gets some damage, he get like 60, 70% damage. Good DI to get him on stage. That probably wouldn't have killed, but that would have put him in a really bad position. Ooh, misses that clap. That probably would have killed at that percent. Nice chain grab from Pikachu. Oh, oh man, that's gonna kill. Yep. See if he's gotta do some work. Yeah. It's a quick camp. Man, and, Lorenzo uh, moves fast with DK. Oh my god, yeah. That is impressive. He uses those platforms perfectly. Nice DI. Like just really throw off for such a big character. Oh yeah, and it's it's so perfect for just grabbing like yeah. that. Uh -huh. oh. Like a falcon grab. Yep. You can't, uh, Stevie G can't stay on the ground for long, man. Like, you're, you're just, uh, he just, of course, he just got grabbed right out of the air, so. He's gotta get in, attack, get out, get in, attack. Ooh, nice grab from Lorenzo. This is gonna be it. It's gonna be close. Ooh, good, good, uh, short hop up air right there. I wasn't able to finish Another it off. Bro. That's gonna be tough to get back from. Nice. Sweet spot. Again, Lorenzo doesn't do much to cover the uh, the sweet spot right on the ledge. Lorenzo doesn't seem to edge guard that much, particularly with Pikachu. I mean, it's it's kind of tough for DK, but I mean, it's you can do over. something to at least force them to go somewhere. Oh, almost got the jump. DVG's tournament life. Oh, and that's, that's it. it. Nice grab, Lorenzo. I believe he makes Brazil. it out of pools now in the, the losers bracket. Yep, Brazil always popping off. That's great. <sighs>
Available on the ROM on this hack. What's it called? Uh, EverDrive hack? The, uh, 19XX. 19XX. Yeah. yeah. It's not a hack. Don't call it that. I guess it's not a hack. Well, I mean, it is to get those colors. It's true. So that's a hack. It's a mod. Alright, so which is which? We got Super Boom being the Hulk. Oh, we still got CBG's name in there. I don't know. It's bold. Uh, I gotta figure out how to change that. I just hit enter. Click in there. You gotta hit enter. There we go. Okay, so we got bull super boom fan. So Grinch is super boom fan. The Grinch. Grinch con. Oh, got that grab. This might be a stock. Oh, he gets off the ledge too early. Or. Oh no, boom. Slipping off the edge, Slip making it look like slip, Brawl here. There's <laughs> no tripping in this game. Still got a lead though. Gotta wonder if he's gonna... So bold. Oh wow. Oh, beautiful. That beautiful combo. That was stellar. You don't see that from a, your average DK. Well, boom, you know, he's a judge on the combo. On the combo. Yeah, uh, he was. He's got he's to be good at these things. Oh, he wanted that down, down B, but got the grab off. Looking good, got nice spacing. Boom just advancing with the back airs, not relenting. That's another thing. Boom is not a camper. He will pursue. He will do what he's supposed to do yep. to get you dead. Well, that jab, the grab, I like that. Oh, and 
low angled forward smash to smack below the line. Wow. I never thought to do that, honestly. That was a really interesting way to use that forward smash. Oh! That was almost a trade to dunk. His combos are so clean. Nice guy's jump back, he'll make it. Notice to wait, because if he waits, the other guy will run out of invincibility on the edge. This looks like it could be a sock if he plays this right. Yeah, yeah good. There you go. Good ledge hog. Gets up with the, uh, the roll, so he has a little bit of invincibility while staying on that ledge, even so. These combos! Oh, the dangerous. forward tilt! So dangerous. Smacks him in the face. You're dead. So that was game one. Super Boom takes it. The Boom fan. So what is it? Do you know the reasoning behind the name Super Boom fan? I don't know. I wish I knew. Maybe he likes to play Bomberman. He's a fan of Maybe. But Bomberman... I mean, it goes Boom. It does. Okay. Back in the DK Ditto. I was kind of hoping that uh, he would change. We've seen a lot of DK today. Uh, oh! Unfortunate SD, but... Boom kills him. Yeah, we know Boom. It's not going to mean a whole lot. Walks away. This walks away. No, he says, I am not letting that happen. What was nice about that there is there was a nice nice little trade for Boom that allowed him to easily get back on the edge. He still would have made it without that trade if he had gotten that there, yeah, but... but he just popped back on. Yeah. That was nice. Punch! That is such an easy combo. Yeah, DK, DK, or DK Dittos, getting those uh, giant punch setups are pretty I simple. I'm so jealous of that combo. I mean, you can do it on uh, Falcon too, right? Not as easily. Oh, oh the him. double hit. He hit him twice with that up air. Or, I'm sorry, with that up beat. Oh, in the dunk. <laughs> in the taunt. I don't you. Boom isn't afraid to taunt, too, because he's a, a, such a nice guy. Um, you know he's doing it in jest and not, not a violent, you know, not yeah. with any terms of hatred, just love of the game. Uh, Bull got himself in a good position there, but... He tries to get out of the way. Yeah. That was a good dare, so he had no options. He couldn't back away, he couldn't try, try forward. Covered the whole thing there with that hitbox. Oh, uh, nice he, oh, he misses the flat oh, drop. Still there. got an opportunity to take a stock. Yeah. Even the nice and close, nice, pretty close here. He might take a, a win off the Unless he goes ham. I think it's too soon to say that. Yeah, it totally is. Maybe but if Boom was down to his last stock, but maybe. He could. He could. It could happen. It is impossible. There's that stock. All right, so it's 2-1. That's a good upbeat. He realized what was happening there. So approaching with there doesn't seem like a good idea. It's good in the middle of combos, but approach with there? I don't know. You're the DKB. It's tough to say. Dunk. Oh. Not going to make a difference. Punch. Oh, goes for the style. Finish. He always goes for the style. Again. Does Boom advance to round two pools, or does he still have one more game to play? That I'm not sure. Do not see the paper. Greetings, Smash fans, and welcome to Super Smash Con 2016. I'm JB, joined by the amazing Club of Dubba. And we're here to kick things off just right. I mean, Super Smash Con 2016, already said to be a tournament of the ages, encompassing all four of the major Smash games right now. But it's definitely worth noting that this is the largest and most stacked Smash 64 tournament 
of all time. Yeah, definitely true. And, and not only Stack, just bringing together so many different regions. This is the first time Peru has ever come to the United States. Japan sent, I think, three or four different players. Right. And this is the first time Peru and Japan have ever played Smash together. Exactly. Uh, and, and we made it happen. They all came together here. Isaiah's here. Super Boom Fan is here. All the greats from North America are here. This is going to be a great event. Brazil's in the house, too. Of course. We can hear Bonze on the mic addressing the audience right now. <laughs> the great Brazilian you're, Smasher. You're absolutely right. And what better way to celebrate this game uh, that's been out for such a long time and is having here at Super Smash Con 2016 its largest event ever and with a good old-fashioned combo contest. Right. Never before done the combo contest. Uh, it's going to resemble a lot like the NBA dunk contest for those who are familiar out there with that. Uh, players is going to be three rounds uh, and each round will be cutting down competitors uh, starting with our six competitors going down to four and then two. That's right. That's right, and we do. Our six competitors, of course, will be Prince, the combo king from Japan, Dexter, representing Mexico, along with Mariguas, recently placing fifth place at Genesis Three. From Peru, we'll be seeing Alvin uh, from Brazil, Court, and from Mexico slash the United States. You know, it gets a little murky with where Brownsville is. Uh, Tacos, who, of course, as some of you may know, took third place at Super Smash Con. 2015. Right now on stream, we're going to be having Prince, it seems like, up first. Uh, I, Prince was up here, you know, I'm not sure uh, who we're bringing up first to do the actual combo. Oh, Dexter up here. So this is actually a bit of a surprise. Dexter, uh, he's not necessarily a player who, when we were discussing this with Ponte, uh, he's not necessarily the player that we think of when we think of these insane combos. Right. Uh, usually he plays uh, his Pikachu, uh, who's always on the cusp of making that top eight whenever we talk about these major 64 Very events. Player. But here, it's not the pressure of the bracket. It's the free form that is the, the entire combo format. So let's see what he can do. Uh, as a recap, each of these contestants will have two minutes to try to pull off the most insane combo that they possibly can. Uh, and they will be scored by our panel of judges. That judge panel includes the one and only phenomenal EE, -E, Twitch's very own D1, Super Boom Fan, widely considered to be the best player in North America. I think at this point, at this point. Has on. Hiro Kuropi, who is hoping it's someday to be the best player in North America and hopefully the world as well. And of course, the man, the myth, the legend at the very end of the table, Isaiah. What else can you say about Isaiah? Uh, he is. You can think of no better person to judge this contest. Uh, when you think of combos, I mean, he is the father of combos, at least here in North America. I mean, his YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. His YouTube channel, man. All those combos. I, I think I, I'm not alone when I say that I was definitely inspired by watching Isaiah and uh, some of those old Apexes. And you're right, even on his YouTube channel yeah. with those insane uh, just, just matches that he'd actually upload onto the channel itself. Yeah. So if there was anyone to judge this combo contest. Oh, it would be him. Oh, Let's do this. Grab. All right, Dexter. Oh, more pivot grabs. That's right. He's just demonstrating how well his control pivots is. Down tilt. Back tilt. air. Oh, is he going for the Tabo finish? Maybe. Oh, nice tilts. Oh, oh. He dropped it. Oh, man. I like he's going with this. This is a lot of hits. And like we said, two minutes to try and perfect the combo. So he may have made that mistake. Possibly from a time standpoint. Well, let's see if he yeah. his wrongs. Okay. Wow. All right. Tilts here. Oh, I think he dropped it. Cute. Even if it was a drop, still yeah. very well done. Yeah. Nice time work there. Uh, worth noting the combo meter does reset uh, anytime a, a player is grabbed or hit the right. ball. So you might see that combo meter reset, uh, but it is still a combo. All Let's right. see what EE's got here. Looking over at EE and, and D1 right now. Seven. seven, eight, seven, six. Ooh. And of course, Woo! of course it would be Kiro who wasn't yeah. impressed. Let's be real. Yeah. If anybody on this stream wouldn't be impressed. But let's go ahead and look at this one more time. Uh, of yeah. course, we were talking Very about just nice. the superb control that he has with his pivots. I mean, yeah. the amount of pivots that were integrated into that combo were absolutely ridiculous. But also just the control of being able to fall and input the aerial at the same time. Like, some yeah. of these timings are insanely precise. Yeah. Uh, He's tilts in the pit. This is something I, I think the Falcons love to do. Just bounce him off the wall here. Oh, you see right there, he did sort of drop the combo. Uh, and that might be what Kiro took points off for. Yeah. You see, see the character do a dummy bounce there. Oh, 
up next gracing the stage, the Peruvian legend himself, Alvin. This is, of course, his very first United States appearance. Actually, the first major uh, Peruvian appearance uh, yeah. from a 64 standpoint. Yep. Uh, and he is, you know, not one known for putting YouTube videos up for combo videos, but one of the most amazing players in the world, for sure. Uh, a master of pretty much all characters from what I hear. I haven't had the chance to play him yet, but uh, he is a phenomenal player. Uh, and Peru playing most of their matches on Hyrule for years and years and years. Wouldn't be surprised to see him utilize Hyrule. Right. Uh, I'm most interested to see what character he's going to whip out. Yeah, what character, what stages. I mean, I I've seen some of these competitors, and they will go to the ends of the earth. Or should I say the stage list in order to perform some of these combinations. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But especially, like you mentioned, because we're seeing a Peruvian competitor, and because they're so used to that Hyrule-only uh, uh, stage set for so long. I'm expecting some nasty hits. Yeah. Tapping like into the inner Tavo. Yeah, it looks like he's not even exiting training mode here. Okay, all right, all right, I I thought he was just gonna reset and just do the Falcon combo again. He's like, you know what, I'm prepped. I'm ready yeah, to go. So that going? was pretty cute. Now, hopefully not a little bit of ghosting okay, that we saw. Yeah, that didn't look too good, did it? Yeah, I, I was worried. Anytime, anytime that controller drifts a little yeah. bit, triggered immediately. <laughs> immediately. LR start to reset your controller and smash that. I, honestly, I, I don't even do that. I do the good old fashioned, like unplug, unplug the controller, yeah. put it back in, hope to God it works. Oh, here it goes. Off to the races. Oh, we're first, man. Oh, another one. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Are we going to see a Tavo combo? Oh, oh, he dropped it. Wow. This is so hard. These two reverse bears in this combo. Are you kidding me? Pretty ridiculous. Now, we keep saying Tavo combo. Uh, why don't you illustrate who this player uh, is? Captain Tavo, uh, the. Oh, he missed it again. That down tilt looks really tough right there. Getting that before the tech. Uh, he's messed that up twice now, I think. Already messed it up. Um, Captain Tavo is the famous Peruvian Falcon player uh, who ends his combos in the, in the high rule temp wonderfully with a. Flying Falcon Punch, as he likes to yeah. call it. I, I think we might be seeing it here. Uh, at least a couple times today. Possibly. Do you believe? Do you oh, believe? Oh, wow. And Alvin. Alvin. That is not even the Tabo combo. That is unique. That is new. That's the Alvin combo. Okay, let's go ahead and see this one more time in slow motion. I want you to break this down for the closer. <laughs> All right, so we got the bear. We got the fourth throw. Here's the reverse bear. Okay. All right, wait. Still trying to find the right replay. All right, all right, all right. here we I, go. I think we, we have it for reals this time. Okay. There we got the throw. We got the reverse bear. It's just, so hard. Yeah, just look at how and another one. pinpoint you have to be to land even yeah. one of those. That is so just, difficult to pull up multiple times in the combo. I mean, that, that's so much. That's control of, like, the fastest character in the game yeah. while also having the others. Yeah, as you mentioned, very critical. And actually, the, the late hit dash attack. Surprise MVP. <laughs> brutal. Absolutely wow. brutal. With that in mind, let's that, go to the judges. Uh, Iggy unimpressed a seven, a five. What are these judges Yo, thinking what are the right first now, two, man? What? Okay, so to recap, what are they talking about? Are we dropping the two lowest scores? That's ridiculous. Okay, that, uh, that's actually ridiculous. Okay, so yeah. to recap, Dexter got a seven and an eight from those two. From judges. those two judges. Yeah, I, I mean, technically. I, I hate to diss Dexter here, but those two combos are miles apart. Yeah, no, those they were combos, leagues apart. Um, they're Dexter, you know, great combo, not a lot of fast falling, um, really just kind of jumping, getting those forward airs, getting on the platforms quick and connecting them, definitely, but uh, man, that that combo from Alvin was insane. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we saw the, the three Smash 64 judges, they, they loved it. No, they, they definitely. You know, maybe part of it might also deal with the execution, right? How well are you at that first glance and being able to execute exactly what's in your mind? You think about Olympic diving, you don't really get do-overs in that. You know? That's true. That's you have true. that one time where you're staring oh! down the cliff. Sorry, Court just picked Link, I got hyped. Oh, rightfully so. The Black Cat from Brazil making his appearance on stage. We've seen him in the United States a couple of times, and uh, he's making a strong case for showing that he is one of the best, if not the best, solo Link main on the planet right now. Maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't go that far. Maybe. I know what? Uh, he Maybe is. it's just because I'm a Court fanboy. Yeah. That just he, might be are. why. If he's the best Link on the planet, I'd be the best Link on the planet. Oh, 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 wow. The humble brag. Calm down, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason why that you're behind a... the mic right now and not on stage yeah, with these you're people, right, all right? right, right, right. Here we go. He's live, though. He's yeah. live here. What's he got? Here. 
with the beautiful bomb setups. He does this in game, by the way, these bomb setups. Oh my god! Wait, 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 that was a mis- wait, hang that, on. Somehow that was a mistake. It looks so good, but he wants this perfect. Yeah, you know, it's- That up tilt, I love it. Oh, but oh. he said, he's looking at the combo meter, that's what it is. This is probably a very tight window to make a combo, and he is just barely not getting it. Oh, he dropped it again. And of course, of, with all the players on this on this stage, Court, uh, competitive experience, only three years. He is the least experienced from a technical, yes. uh, competitive standpoint, and yet he is so far pulling off these incredibly technical combos. Oh, he got it! Oh, he, I'm it, not it, sure what he's going for it, after that, but... You know, it, it looks like he almost uh, didn't get the right hitbox on that back air, right? He maybe wants to sequence up with the up tilt after the back air. Maybe. Quite possibly. Oh, man. He might be getting close to time here. And I it, really hope he pulls off that bomb. Looks not as well placed as the other ones. Uh, definitely, you're, you're right, Clubo. Right now, time is certainly a factor. Let's see if the board... He yeah, really has maybe one more chance to actually pull this combo yeah. up. Time. Oh! Could this be the oh. time? Oh! Could this be the time? Oh! And court wow. erupts. You know, it took a bit of time, but I felt that was well worth the wait. I, and I want to know how close the time that was, because he's got to be feeling the pressure he pulls off. That was insane. That one time. flat drop up air. And this is why I messed up the first time. And a pivot up tilt from Link. That jump boomerang finishes with the dare. Beautiful. Uh, you saw a lot of tech there. You saw the forward air, the running drop, the uh, pivot up tilt in there. Another seven. Um, wow. D1. Oh, right. he, oh, no, 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 no. Not the eight. Not the eight. Going for the six. six. Okay. Boom with the six. Kiro with the eight. Kiro was impressed by that one. Isaiah, the link player, with the eight. He's like, you know what? Not bad. Not quite yeah. ten worthy yet. Yeah. If we're going to say best link players on the planet, I think it's got to be Isaiah. Uh, if not some Japanese player, and he was pretty impressed by that combo. Oh, that looked very difficult. So averages here uh, of sevens all around, actually, uh, for both Dexter as well as Court. Surprisingly oh. enough, it looked like Alvin had the lowest uh, scoring because of the uh, scoring from D1 and E3. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I guess it depends on how they end up evaluating at the end. Will they yeah, be dropping, dropping the two the, lowest? Or the uh, lowest and the highest? Lowest or? highest, you know. What's going on? Uh, you got to take out the outliers, right? Yeah, I'm a little baffled by those scores. Like, can we talk to those guys? No, definitely. Oh, that was hey, really good. Hey, diving boards. It's about those diving boards, right? Yeah, and again, maybe, that, that, maybe that's one, what we have to see. Yeah, D1 was making his hand signals afterwards. Like, he, did, he kept going over. What do you want me to do? So, here we go. We got Marigloss coming up here. Getting a little warm up in. Uh, Marigloss. Uh, Mexican player who really bursted on the scene through his combo videos. Um, like four years ago is when I remember seeing him. Uh, but he is a phenomenal combo maker. Here we go. Let's get right into it. Mario Gloss, I remember watching him at Apex. He's pulling up amazing combos there. Had an untimely end uh, in one of his heads. But hopefully he's going to be able to find some great fortunes here. Of course, fifth place at G3, an incredible player, and pulling off an incredible combo. Will actually drop the combination at the yeah, end, though. I think, I think he wants the wall bounce. Yeah, there, exactly. Right? Slightly better timing here. Oh my! Uh, oh, he's wait a minute! Yet. He's not done! He's not he's done! done. <laughs> oh! Man. He wanted more! Maybe a bit of greed there, perhaps? Oh, man. Hey, it's the combo contest. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. You need, you need to go for all the marbles yeah. here. I do, I do want it. This is a long combo, though. That's right, that's right. You know, again, time being a factor. Only two minutes to finish off the sequence. Oh, oh well, wait, that he should let that count. He might. I know, right? It's See, not good enough. It's insane because usually after that reverse hit up air, yeah. we expect the Falcon Punch. He's going for oh, so much more, yeah. but will he actually be able to get it? Yeah, and that is the Tabo combo right there when he does the reverse up air and he's flying off of that tent wall. Uh, normally, you can do a flying Falcon Punch at that point, and that's what he's bypassing. Right. So more. Okay. All right. Maybe a second shot of redemption for Mariguas. Maybe. Oh! And this might be a heartbreaker. It's going down to the wire. Oh, this is it. Oh! Down tilt? No, wait. No, he's got a couple up. more of these. There it is! Freestyle! No! Oh! So you saw what he did with his mouth. He was trying to taunt cancel actually mid combo with his mouth, but he looked like he may have missed up the timings again. Oh, man. At some point, he's just got to let that up air do the killing. I know. He's got to be running on time here. 
Honestly, I, I, I wouldn't mind giving him a couple of extra grace period moments. He's clearly going for uh, the longest combo sequence we've seen yet. Yeah. But consistency, that's what this two minute timer is about. You have the gun to your head. Oh. Oh no! Missed the taunt cancel! I can't believe he's talking it's like with his mouth right now. That's crazy. But that's that's a Mario Kart special. I mean, he's a nutter. Judges, you can see them. Uh, it's on the verge of erupting here along with this crowd. They want Mario Kart to actually finish off this combo. Yeah. Oh, Time man. runs out. Mario Kart. Oh, no. Oh. He won't even be able to get the uh, the curse. Did he? Oh man! Did he bring out a combo that was too hard for round one? Maybe. I mean, I still would have given that a solid seven, regardless with the combo, even if it ended Just a bit prematurely. Yeah. Earlier, I mean, I was watching him warm up, and he was doing a pretty sick combo. Here we go. The crowd erupting. Could this be the time? No! no! And of all the technical things he was doing, to think it was a taunt cancel that was the bane of his existence. Unfortunate for Mariguas. I mean, if you told me that he was going to be taunt canceling with his mouth, I wouldn't be surprised. That, that would be the part that he was messing up. Oh. Definitely pulled off a combo that I think he maybe should have saved for that final round. To, to give a reiteration of what's supposed to actually happen, we're starting with these six competitors first. We'll dwindle down to four after that, and the final two will actually get to perform two separate combos for the judges to score. Yeah. First off, EE. E. Lucky e. number seven's all around the board so far. And Isaiah with a oh. six at the end. The troll actually <laughs> rotating it originally. And you know what, that, that was almost like, the, you know what, we saw what you were going for yeah. there. Let's give you the pass. So the that's scores. that's pretty cool. I like what the judge was doing because it would be great to see what else Mary Glass has in store. Because that combo, oh, if he had finished that, that would have been fantastic. But he has some other ones in his pocket, no doubt. Oh, definitely. So far, we've seen Alvin, Court, Mary Glass, and Dexter. Mexico, Peru, and Brazil. Some great South American representation with still one more South American slash American ish. Yeah. I, I say South, but more like Central slash South. Yeah, he's below uh, the border. How about that? Just barely. I promise I was paying attention in geography class. I promise. Uh, I, you know, Tacos was uh, definitely an American for a while, and yeah. now he's definitely a Mexican, but you know, I consider him an honorary American. It makes America a little bit stronger in Smash. Tacos, uh, third place in Super Smash Con 2015. Incredible player. Uh, and. I think uh, one of the most stylish players you'll we'll actually see in tournament, he's been known to actually integrate taunt cancels, something that Mario Gloss had a hard time pulling off with his mouth. Uh, he, he's actually been able to integrate those into combos in the middle of tournament combos. It's insane. Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy to see the DK break out right here. I mean, it's only fitting. At Super Smash Bros. 2015, he actually yeah. pulled out the DK uh, in Losers Finals against Kiro and yeah. very nearly took the game from him. Yeah, it was great to see. Oh, here we go. A strong performance last year. Off a strong start. The one Donkey Kong we've seen on screen so far. Okay. Oh, oh. what's that reverse pair there? And again, just these reverse oh, nice. hitboxes. Yeah, reverse pair. I like that delay on that forward throw. Being able to get even like one of these is still a very difficult task. But being able to integrate so many consecutive. Oh, I can do that dash. A lot of uh, the bar has been set very high, I will say. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, I'm not sure if he's trying to fit in a fast hole in that yeah, up there. I think if he is, that's so incredible. Yeah, that, that timing is actually bonkers. Oh my god, he is. Oh, he oh. Hit one I mean, that was another up air. Maybe he doesn't want that reverse pair. Yes, so keep in mind, there is no C stick in this game. So if you're doing a fastball up air, the control stick is going from all the way down. So, like, back up. So, yeah, sorry. I was got distracted by that. No, it, it, it's mesmerizing. <laughs> that, that really is a great word, though, to describe Tacos' play style, especially. Generally known, we see him play a lot of Yoshi. Uh, 
but now just busting out the Donkey Kong like he did at SSC 2015. I think the most impressive thing about this, he has not messed up that reverse forward air once. Like, he just, every single time he has hit that. That is so difficult to do. You know what this combo is? It's uh, it's whenever I was a teenager and I had read uh, the sixth Harry Potter book. I just want to know how it ends. He's I got it! How it ends! Oh! <laughs> and spoiled by the cliff notes. That's unfortunate, man. So I think he's looking for a... So there's another hitbox on the forward air. I guess it's the same reverse hitbox, actually. And again, with, with, with both Mariguas and Tacos, we see them go down to the wire. On the verge of complete, the combos finally! Yes, he gets it! And wow, wow just, just, just an amazing understanding, not only of hitboxes, but also percentages as well, to be able to KO with that forward air from there. Yeah. Beautiful. You, you know what's the craziest thing about that? Do tell. The end of that combo was different than the last time he did the combo in Nesta. So here we go, here we see a slow motion replay, but he, I think he just ad-libbed the end of the combo that time. No, he, I, and that's, that's, insane. that's like so tacos. It really is, he, he was one of those players who came here at the last minute to ensure he could compete here. Uh, didn't actually have time to practice combos, so it's very possible that those first couple, uh, that first minute or so was just warm-ups. Yeah, uh, when I saw him, he was not ready for the combo contest. Sat down for five minutes and came up with this one second. That was the near miss that we saw. That one hurt to watch. Yeah. Of course, our, our, our judging panel. Uh, one member repping a Twitch, Twitch hoodie, the other actually working for Twitch. And then three legends of Smash 64. Let's go ahead and check out the judges' scores, starting with the one and only Phenomenal E. Seven spin his lucky guess. number, Let and he's guess. going for another one this time around. D1 also falling suit with the seven. Oh, oh boom! Yeah. Okay, a seven from him. Seven from Kira. You know, I, I feel like that might be a little oh, bit Oh, we got five sevens! <laughs> you think he's mad at that DK? I, I, I mean, he did take care of we're, that. We're talking about being triggered from ghosting. Kiro definitely triggered from that Donkey Kong a year ago, am I right? Yeah, you should have seen his face when he when uh, Taco's taking his DK in that set. It was just... <laughs> oh, jeez. Face and palms. What do I even do, <laughs> Yeah. So, sevens across the board. Yeah. And that puts Tacos, again, just averaging out sevens. Uh, just like so many of the other competitors that we've seen so far. So, over there, uh, who's to move on right now? Who's got the lowest score, I guess? I think if we drop them, if we if we do, uh, if we drop maybe... A, you see, that's tricky, because like I look at Kort, and I think that he... Like, aside from uh, the sixes that we saw, Kort had seven, two sixes, and two eights, right? Oh, man, that's, that's so dumb. No, this combo is so good. Oh, Mushroom Kingdom! Oh, Prince! Okay, this is Prince. He is the Japanese Isaiah. He is, to them, he is the king of combos. Yeah. Prince. I, I mean, his combos are so disgusting. He's intrigued that he won't catch any sort of contagions. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead oh, and Oh, he is the Prana! It. Wait a minute. Oh, my God! What? My Lord! No. Who are we watching? Oh, what is that? Falcon kick? Oh, my God. Wow! Prince, of course, known for his level combo videos. Right? Yes, created a, a one through six for each character, so difficulty of, of the combo. Six different levels of them. And we've been seeing sevens all night. <laughs> and, oh! oh my god! I no, okay. Yeah. So, so we've seen the spoilers, but can we actually see this movie come to fruition? He's having that Apocalypse Now moment right now. Can he actually finish the damn film? Piece of art, to say the least. Oh! That's right. The Piranha integration. So creative for Prince. Oh! He may have oh, retired. Yeah, Does that count? Yeah. You know, he may have retired from the competitive scene in Japan, but still, I, I can tell you that he's still been exploring just for the love of the game, figuring out the ends where he can actually take his characters. Yeah. Uh, no longer active in the tournament scene, but plays online all the time. Um, doesn't seem to have lost a step. And worth noting, actually, is he's playing on an American copy. He's yeah, used he to is, training right. in Japan. He was asking before if he could use a Japanese uh, cartridge, but he does end up using the American. Well, that could very well be uh, maybe some minute reasons why he's been failing to capitalize on these combos fully. That's I'm missing the launch on the dash attack. Yeah. This uh, this up air he's doing right here is uh, really tough. Tougher than it looks. That sliding up air. Oh! Oh! God! And the entire venue pops off 
simultaneously. <laughs> Prince, the combo wow. king for Japan. Oh my god. All right, we're getting, uh, we're getting like three nines and two tens here. I'm calling it. We have to. All right, here we go. Another nair. This runoff reverse up air into a forward air. Doesn't even hit the platform. Right into the piranha and the falcon punch. And he actually, it looks like he actually does a double jump, but cancels it with the falcon punch Yeah, itself. as soon as he does the jump, he falcon punches. He, I swear to God, if you, right, pull, if you pull out, out a seven. <laughs> if you pull out a seven. Oh, okay, 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 okay right. the troll. <laughs> actually pulled out the nine that time. Respect, D1. And he's gonna oh, get the first 10, ten of the evening. Boom gets a 10 <laughs> as well. Nine right. from Kiro. And from Isaiah. Isaiah a a ten. 10! Wow! Is there any higher praise than Isaiah actually giving a 10 himself? No, there is not. That's that's the dream you go to bed at night, and you hope tomorrow Isaiah gives you a 10. Oh, hopefully. I hope Isaiah just calls me back, man. I'm having separation issues right now. I got a text from him earlier. It was great. Oh, wow. It made my day. That's crazy. I, yeah, that uh, definitely the best one. By far, by far. I mean, just the just the rock creativity itself. We're seeing someone think outside of the box to the next degree. Not only choosing a completely different stage, but actually integrating the piranha plants themselves. That's something that I have never seen. Really? I've never yeah, seen that integration. In to that uh, level? Yeah, never. Yeah. Never. Uh, definitely seen, you know, I've probably Prince's pulled videos too, yeah. and Isaiah. They love using stage hazards, which just makes the combo so much more interesting yeah. because as creative as everyone is, there's only so much you can do with just your character. You guys in the stage hazards, uh, just like think how long it takes you to figure out the prawn's gonna come out at that time. And I can pull this combo off. Oh, yeah. D D Hours, okay. days, weeks, months in training. I mean, I mean, that takes a crazy person to think, wouldn't it be cool if I like got this like insane sequence at the beginning, then dash tech someone into a piranha plant so I can later combo off of the backboard of the other pipe in order to have them back on the piranha plant to finish them with a falcon punch? Club, yeah. yeah. you, you Club, look at me. What kind of anime do you have?
All right, here we go. We're ready to go. Um, and it is exactly how it is on the bottom. So Bowels is player one, Zero is player two, um, and so on. It's an immediate charge there. Yeah. <laughs> he just sat in the corner and charged right away. It was really, uh, and I guess, yeah, I guess Zero just held it down. Oh, uh, he tries to shoot. Loses it immediately, so. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the charge shot's really great and can be really great in doubles, but you got to be really careful. Really easy to lose it and not get your shot off. Ooh, so. so I saw there the, the um...
one-day pop quiz. Which SUV has a bigger passenger space?
Three. 
Thank <laughs> you. 